what's going on my tech friends from around the world? By now I'm pretty sure that everybody knows that two years ago, two things really got discovered in the entire computer world that pretty much blew people's minds and got them going, what the heck is going on with Intel and ARM CPUs? I mean, what the heck really? Um, and that was Meltdown and then after Meltdown, Spectre. Now, if you guys don't know at all what this is, these are like pretty much like hardware malfunctions within your CPU, which is a security breach problem, which means that people could access the information that is on your CPU. The main thing that it really did though was that they call it meltdown because it would actually access and make all your memory go crazy and so your system would pretty much just melt down. And then afterwards they found, you know, Spectre. Now, one of the big things that I notice in the comment section a lot is everybody's always like, oh, you know, you shouldn't buy an Intel CPU, man. Intel CPU, they've had this this like security thing. It really like sucks and yada, 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 yada. And, and AMD CPUs don't have this. Now, let's just get some facts straight. Now, the meltdown, that does only affect Intel ARM CPUs. But Spectre, it affects some AMD CPUs in computers and also Android type stuff as well. So Spectre is a little bit different, but both of these things are considered to be catastrophic. I mean, catastrophic in the computer world because of what it does. Now, I'm not a total technical guy and there's tons of technical information about this. So if you really want to get really into it, I can you know, share some links down below where you guys can get this information. But basically, between hardware and software, there's security features that, that, that actually protect all your personal information. It's usually you know, only available to like you know, high level on your computer, but there's a way that it can be accessed you know, and screw around this stuff. Now, Really, the point of this video is a couple of things. For one thing, it said that this, you know, this, whatever you want to call it, this security leak, I just will call it that, this catastrophic security leak, has been in Intel CPUs for the past 20 years, okay? Now, I know many people, many, many people, I mean, really unbelievable amount of people, who've been using Intel CPUs for their gaming computers all this time, and I've never once heard of any of those people ever go, hey man, wow, I just had a computer meltdown or a specter, you know, happened to, happened to my computer, you know. And one thing to note as well is that this cannot be fixed by antivirus software or anything else like that because it is not something that is software based. It has to be done at the firmware level, which means that basically keeping up all of your devices up to date on your computer is the best way to avoid this ever even happening. Now, if you're a company out there with a giant server farm and you're handling a lot of people's money and you know that's your responsibility is to keep these people's money safe, you're processing orders, all this type of stuff, then yes, or like NASA, then yes, I would say that these, you know, security, you know, security mishaps will go there, um, might be really something to consider. But during all this time in the last two years, these things have pretty much been, you know, have been fixed. There's an article over on The Guardian about how everything's been fixed. All of the, all of the search engines and everything, they've all been fixed. Now, at the server level and at these giant farms, this fix, you know, I've heard has slowed down servers a tiny bit. And I don't think that Epic, you know, servers suffer from the same plight. So at this point right now, you know, it's probably, you know, a plus for AMD on that side. But at the desktop level, if you're saying you're not gonna buy an Intel CPU because you think the security features are something, you know, that are that are like worth really, you know, worth really considering, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I just, that particular thing I just don't agree with. Now, at this point in time, obviously AMD has come up with CPUs that can compete and beat Intel at their own game. That's just a fact. Everybody knows this, there's no disputing it. Intel is still the disputed, you know, excuse me, the undisputed in single thread and stuff, but beyond the single thread thing, you know, and being the fastest in gaming by just a little bit, well, I Obviously, AMD with their more cores and all the stuff that's going on with their technology is competing and beating Intel. But that shouldn't really be the, the you know, that actually right there, excuse me, should be the only reason that you should be buying a CPU choice at the desktop level. Because at the desktop level, nobody's trying to hack into your computer, really. I mean, think about it. 
Most people don't have a lot of money. We're not millionaires. We're just regular average Joes. Your money is usually protected by the bank and everything else. So if somebody even hacked your computer, you could file a complaint. They'd look into it. You get your money back. So that particular, you know, this so-called security is really no big deal on a desktop, you know, system. It really isn't. Now, you can go out and look at all the different CPU reviews and all those different things. And that's really the only way you should be, you know, doing things. As far as this meltdown and Spectre goes, yeah, two years ago, these things were like catastrophic in the industry. They were mind boggling, you know, um, obviously information probably somewhere somehow that we don't even know about because we're just consumers and the average Joe like myself, you know, we don't we'll probably get privy to that, you know, information, but I'm sure something did happen along those lines, but none of us are really in that market. We're just gamers who play at home and we play our games and we use our systems, you know? And if you're a person out there and right now you're watching this video, you go, oh, I own a Mac, it's immune. No, Macs are not immune actually. Macs are completely um, susceptible to both. That's right, to both. Meltdown and Spectre, both of them it's susceptible. But at this point, there has actually never been an attack to this point ever on a system by Apple. So none of those have ever been attacked at this point by that particular, you know, that particular thing. So obviously in that factor, it's not happening. A lot of the iMacs and other systems all have Intel processors in them. Um, if there was, it was happening, all these people who use these for businesses and everything would be completely freaking out and not wanting to buy them. It's not affecting that market whatsoever. So, you know, when I see the comments down below in the video and you're like saying, oh yeah, you know, Intel sucks and they have this bad security like thing as well. Uh, okay. Yeah, but it doesn't affect anybody at our level. It really doesn't. Nobody wants your information unless you're, you know, if you're some super important guy, then you should probably have better security than me and, and the rest of us average Joes out here anyways, because obviously your information is that more important. Now, you know, could somebody do it? Yeah, but why is somebody gonna spend all their time and all their effort to try to hack into your home system to do what? Just to log in to play a couple of your games or something and get a hold of your minor bank information, which like I stated earlier, is protected. Now, maybe your games or something, someone messed with your Steam account, and I mean, you can get it back, it's kind of a pain in the booty, but you can do it. I've had it happen to me and I've got my account back. So you can do it. So at the desktop level, when you're making a decision about buying a CPU, the security, you know, malfunction, whatever, is really at this point not any big deal for desktop people. Like I said, if you're going to build a server, you're that type, you know, sure, no problem whatsoever. Now, obviously, this is a big deal to some people. It really was because, let's just face it, when information comes out and they're telling you this information is catastrophic, to the PC world. It's kind of almost like what's going on right now, We're like in the middle of a pandemic and like in the middle of a pandemic, stuff is really, really bad. So, okay, so at some level they've discovered this and it's like, oh, but here's the thing. How much stuff have you ever seen published about this? I mean, have you ever seen a company come out and say, okay, you know, um, Apple's blah, blah, blah farm or Disney's render farm or yada, yada, this, that, or there just got hacked and all your money's gone and yada, 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 yada. Now there have been stuff hacked many times and maybe that had something to do with one of those things that had happened and your information got leaked out. It is possible, but even that information, like I said, we're not privy to it, so we don't even really know. I just know that when I just went the last few days and did a bunch of research and stuff and reached out, I've never heard of anybody at the desktop level saying, oh my God, my system's had a meltdown and I've got Spectre and oh my God, I'm freaking out, man, my computer's going bad because of this, this security thing. Ah! I don't know. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't seem to be happening at all in the desktop realm. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I know that right now, Intel is not the favorable company to many, many people because, you know, just the way things have gone. AMD kind of has, you know, as far as the hearts and minds, like I've said in another video, you know, in the, another video rather, they've kind of, people have like kind of sided with them right now after all the things in the past. But really, any of these political things that have to do with the company, honestly, unless it's like they've come to your town and tried to steal your water or like take your women to the night and make ba alien babies in them, you know, I, I don't know. 
I don't really try to really get too much into that stuff because like I've told you guys before, corporations at the end of the day are just greedy people there. That's their whole thing. Make the board of directors happy, bring the money in. Now are there some good people at these corporations that really care about probably your gaming needs and want to do sure. I'm sure there's some people out there that really do. But at the end of the day, corporations are corporations. When you base your decision on stuff, always do the facts, which is kind of why I made this video. So if you're if somebody out there right now and you're searching for a CPU and you're going, man, I don't really know if I should buy, you know, an Intel CPU because, oh my God, this security breach. If you're just a desktop guy or you got a workstation at your house, this is not going to affect you. The security breach is not going to bother you. There's really no recorded events of it ever happening whatsoever. So, I mean, uh, you know, needle in a haystack type of thing. Yeah, it could happen. I mean, you could hop on a plane and the plane could fall out of the sky, but most of the time it doesn't. You really, they say, have more chances of, you know, dying, just hopping in your car and going a couple blocks from your house. So, you know, you just, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? You just never really know on those things. There's no guarantee. But, you know, if you're that one in one billionth person or whatever it happens to, well, then, hey, you can make me eat my word, send me an email, and uh, we'll try to get you a new system. <laughs> that's, all I can, that's all I can really say. But from what I've been looking at and researching, I'm not really seeing anything about that stuff. The best thing that you can do is figure out what you're going to do with your computer. Figure out exactly what programs you're going to run. Take a look out there at the numbers, do your research, and then buy according to that. Don't listen to any hype, don't listen to any BS, don't do anything like that. Do your research, do the information thing, feed your brain full of information and get the information, cross-reference it if you need to with other things until you come to a balanced decision about what you want to buy. Because there may be some things that you might say that, hey, you know what, actually according to paper, this particular Intel CPU does really, really better. Then you look at something else and you're going, oh, for what for my needs need, you know, this CPU does a lot better. And that's how you should be basing your purchases, really. I mean, price is important, but really what you're going to do, what the application you're going to use it for is the best thing that you can do. Is there really a better CPU at the end of the day that just really, oh, the far superior? Come on, come on, guys. You guys know the answer is frack no. There's not, okay? They're different. They do kind of the same things. Just like NVIDIA and just like AMD video cards. They are kind of the same thing. They do a little bit different stuff. But at the end of the day, you're playing video games on a monitor with both cards, right? Uh, CPU powering your computer on your motherboard, right? Same thing, right? Sound card, same thing. A little bit different, sure. But at the end of the day, they're doing you know, achieving the same goals just by kind of different means. So know what you're gonna buy. The security issue thing, like I said, for desktop CPUs, it's pretty doggone irrelevant. If you're a guy out there and you're buying servers, you probably aren't even, don't even care about this video anyways because you should be watching you know, some other channel that focuses on server hardware. Me, myself, I'm just an at-home gamer guy who loves games, loves rock and roll music, and likes being on YouTube. So peace out, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I will put some links down below to some of the articles. So if you have absolutely no idea really what I'm talking about and you'd like to really educate yourself so you're not like leaving a comment somewhere and somebody who actually doesn't know is going, what in the frack is this guy talking about? then check out those links down below. Also, if you like what you see, hey, I'd love to see you sub here. It doesn't really mean that much at the end of the day because subscriptions on YouTube don't mean jack doodly, but hey, it still makes a guy feel good at the end of the day. And the best way to support me always is just by trying Amazon Prime for free for 30 days. You can use them, watch all their movies, ship for free, and at the end of the dirty days, cancel it. It still helps me out and get you some free stuff. So peace out, see you later.